Here in New York City's Fresh Kills landfill, officials are making sure not to let the city's trash go to waste. And beneath my feet is the household waste and the municipal waste. The garbage is decaying, generating landfill gas. New York City is capturing the methane gas created by decomposing trash at Fresh Kills, processing it, and turning it into clean natural gas. We're probably the only facility in the country that the gas from this goes right into someone's house because of the safety measures and the gas quality. The 2,200-acre landfill, which was first opened in 1948, is no longer accepting garbage. The city is in the process of turning it into a park. But the decomposing waste that was dumped here decades ago continues to generate methane. It could be food waste. It could be paper waste. It could be rags. We're talking about solid waste that, uh, that the general public used to dump years ago. Fresh Kills is one of 30 landfills around the country that have projects to turn landfill gas into high BTU pipeline quality natural gas, according to the Environmental Protection Agency, enough to heat 342,000 homes each year. I'm here at the Fresh Kills landfill, and I have to say, I would never know this was a landfill. You look behind me, you see all this vegetation on this hill. This used to be all marshland. It was all flat. Below my feet, up on that hill, that's all filled with waste. The conversion process at Fresh Kills works like this. The landfill gas is extracted using high vacuum pressure through wells and blowers and then cooled. It is then piped to a purification facility where the methane is isolated, scrubbed, and cleaned. Because methane is odorless and colorless, it is then mixed with a chemical deodorant called mercaptan so it can be detected. From there, the resulting natural gas is piped directly to about 22,000 households on Staten Island. The city has paid $12 million each year for the gas, which was once simply released into the atmosphere. Now, thanks to state-of-the-art technology, a landfill that was once a symbol of environmental neglect is a place where trash becomes power. Brian Montopoli, CBSNews.com.